But Josh isn't going down without a fight, his dad, Jim Bob, has hired the most expensive lawyers money can buy, and like O.J. Before him, Josh clearly has high hopes about getting away with some truly heinous crimes. We know that's what lawyers do, but we were hoping that everyone on the planet agreed that Josh needs to be locked up forever, anyway, Josh's trial was originally scheduled for July. The wheels of justice are turning faster than usual this week, which is probably a result of the fact that Josh never should have been bailed out, and the people of Northwest Arkansas are not thrilled with the idea of this creep prowling their streets. But earlier this week, Josh's lawyers filed paperwork requesting that the court proceedings be pushed back top February of 2022. Prosecutors responded with a filing of their own, in which they basically argue that the sooner Josh is locked up, the better. Comes now the United States of America by and through Dustin Roberts, Assistant United States Attorney for the Western District of Arkansas, for its response to the defendant's motion to continue trial until February of 2022 of approximately three months to allow a defense-hired expert to review the digital evidence in the case and provide a subsequent option, the filing reads, according to Fox News. However a continuance as requested until February of 2022 would result in unnecessary delay, the documents continue. Josh's legal team argues that they need more time to pursue certain investigative leads based on the discovery. In other words, they were blindsided by some new evidence, and they need some time to get their SHT together. Again, prosecutors responded by being like, yeah, nice try, but your boy is going to jail. The defense has had the discovery since early May and certainly three additional months, should provide ample time to complete their review of the reports and identify any alleged witnesses favorable to the defense, the filing reads. The filing goes on to claim that Josh and his lawyers failed to turn over certain documents related to the Little Rock Police Department's involvement in this case. The interviews took place behind closed doors for the children's protection, but the transcripts will be read in open court. And judging by the response from Josh's legal team, some pretty damning testimony was delivered by those poor kids. Now, both sides are awaiting a response from the judge, and while the trial might be pushed back a few months, it seems highly unlikely that it'll be pushed all the way to February of 2022. So if you were in need of some good news today, here it is, Josh is going to jail, and it will probably happen very, very soon.